Right from the start, the shocks began. Perhaps the outsiders hatched their own plan. Sara Arani was the first to go. Here on 18, Puig stole the show. Then our first glimpse of Rafa, all smiles and muscles, ready to romp past the pride of Brussels. Darcy's unknown outside his hometown, but he soon had Nadal wearing a frown. So the King of Clay was gone on day one, and the fall of the seeds already begun. The other big three all advanced without sweat, Andy, Roger and Novak still well worth a bet. And then along came a day to top them all. On walkover Wednesday, seven did fall. Some withdrew, some retired, crumpled and sore. Never had so many shown themselves the door. But this Wimbledon stage can light inner fire, igniting belief in those who aspire. Sergei Stokowski was next to shout, and in round two, it was Roger and out. With her rivals succumbing to power and might, Serena looked more than up for the fight. Date Krum made the third round, age 42, but facing world number one, there was nothing she could do. Elsewhere, Laura Robson was thrilling the crowd. Marching into week two, the country was proud. Murray roared past Rob Rado without dropping a set. Would this be the year expectations were met? Manic Monday arrived, all 32 to play. A happy German would have the biggest say. So far this year, Williams was best, but the French Open champion was put to the test by a girl called Sabine, seeded 23. Sheer joy on her face for all to see. No such ending for Laura, who acted with heart as Kaya Kanepi played leading part. But the Briton bowed out to resounding applause, adding invaluable credit to her future cause. Next up for Andy, a Russian doctor on court, a second set tiebreak dramatically fought. Onwards and upwards to the quarters once more, the Brits on the hill loving the score. The best women's quarter, Radvanska Vinar, the winner of this one would surely go far. The two highest seeds still left in the draw, but the experienced pole made the last four. Elsewhere away from the media's glare, Bartoli produced sublime Gallic flair. Semis again for the number 15. For six years at this level, she hadn't been seen. Burdick beat Novak in Rome this year, but here on the grass, the Serb hit top gear. Del Potro was down early on with his knee. The pain and the angst was clear to see. But the Argentine rose to resounding cheers, a first Grand Slam semi for almost four years. Flawless till now for Britain's number one, but against Vodasco, Murray under the thumb. Two sets down, the left-hander in charge. Even for Andy, this comeback was large. Frayed nerves till the end, but he just did enough when it mattered the most for Scott hanging tough. Then what are the odds of meeting your mates here on the big stage of the last eight? Back home in East Europe, a nation stood still, but which of these poles would find iron will? It was Jersey in three, national history made. Their memories of this would never fade. And so to the semis, the stakes getting high. The first one was so fast that time flew by. Flipkins likes magic, but not in this match. Bartoli was ruthless, quick to dispatch. So into the final, just like 07, she was one match away from her tennis heaven. Sabine and Agnieszka was a much longer affair. To leave this one early, no one would dare. Deep in the third, the break finally came. The smiling German enjoying her fame. Fabulous Friday really was one to treasure. Tennis so good it was just beyond measure. Del Potro immense, he forced it to five, but Djokovic just kept his dreams alive. Four hours 44, the longest semi in history. How the next match would top this was almost a mystery. But out came Murray to huge cheers from the crowd and how he would need them to keep it that loud. Jersey serving was huge, bearing down like a rocket, but it was Andy in four, another great win to pocket. He's got another crack at the Wimbledon final. And so to the finals, the women were first. For a maiden grand slam, they both had a thirst. The warm-up was friendly, all smiles and polite, but Bartoli was poised like a boxer to fight. Four hands and fist pumps, she gave the lot. Lizicki in this match almost losing the plot. For one so intense, a moment to savour, Bartoli enjoyed this slam-winning flavour. And so the men's final in great expectation, Murray burdened again by the hopes of a nation. It's first against second, we couldn't ask for more, except, of course, a Scottish winning score. Novak is great, well worthy of praise, a prince with a racket no crowd could phase. But Murray stands on the verge, does immortality beckon? Well, here on the hill, we know what they reckon. Yeah!